So it's five o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, and I just noticed that my water tank wasn't full, and it should be full because it runs on solar and it's a nice sunny day. And so I just realized that my pump is actually not pumping, and now I have about two hours left of daylight to get that pumping again. Got my trusty sidekick with me. You might be wondering where we're going. Well, our personal well is about almost a mile from our house. The reason it's that far is because when looking for water, this is the closest they could find it. Sure. So this right here is my solar panel. This is my pump, and it is not pumping. So now I have to pull about, oh, 10 meters from down from where the pump is up to see what's wrong. Just in case it isn't obvious, there's no water company where we live. Everybody in this part of the world either gets their water from a well or from collecting rainwater off their roof. Now, rainwater can be a challenge because in 2015, we measured less than 10 inches of rain here where we live. For perspective, the national average in the United States is around 40 inches of rain and Georgia gets 50. So this is my pump, so I gotta just figure out now what's wrong with it. I think the connection's loose. I'm trying to work on this, but it's covered in fire ants. Why is it covered in fire ants? Do fire ants like it under water? So this is my control box. This is the on off switch. When I came here, it was in the on position, but the pump was not running. But now, it's running just fine. You ever have something break and you work your tail off fixing it and by the time you get it all taken apart, it works just fine? That's kind of like what this was. I was smart enough to take off my wedding ring before I did this. Would hate to lose it down this deep hole. Well, sure enough, we got it lowered back down in the hole and it wasn't working again, which I suppose it's all as well because I really want to fix this right. So I've done this a couple times. I don't know if you can really see in the video, but this is a little hill. And so when it does rain, this area fills up with water and I can't actually get to this pump area. So I really need to fix it while I can. So we only have about 30 minutes of daylight left. So we'll just have to try again tomorrow. Here we go, round two. Well, it's back to working. This is my tank and it's full again. We rely on that for all of our water. Gravity feeds into the house. Now, I don't mind hard work. In fact, in a lot of ways, I prefer that over studying and working at a computer. But I'm here to learn a language, Nivakale, and they say it takes 4,000 hours focused hours to learn a foreign language. And every hour I spend away from language learning is an hour behind in language learning. So uh, this morning, in the end, uh, the filter just needed, or the pump just needed its filter cleaned and uh, it started pumping just fine. But that took me another two hours of work this morning. And so uh, that was 25% of a normal work day gone. And so, Anything like this, it just pushes me further away from learning language. So we try to eliminate as much stuff like this as we can so that we can just focus hard and study hard so that we can eventually learn this language and be effective communicators in this culture. So did you like this ministry vlog? If you did, let us know by subscribing or let us know in the comments. And that way we know uh, whether this is effective, whether we should keep doing it, or whether we should just uh, cut bait. And so uh, thanks for watching and... We'll see you later.